Ah, uh, there you are, human. Why are you struggling in the ropes? <laughs> anyway, glad to see you're awake. Now, to treat those wounds of yours. Hold still. There. Is that better? You want me to let you go? Ha! Huh. Just what position do you think you're in? That's what I thought. Losers can't be choosers. Isn't that what you humans would say? Anyways, if you want to try and escape, be my guest. But not even a male orc could break free from my robes. I've practiced. Keep trying. All you'll do is wear yourself out, making it easier for me to make you obey. Actually, here, eat this rag. Uh, now I can talk. So, human, you are here because you lost. I reckon I know how you got here. We've been taking down stragglers along the roads, sacking a village here and there, and you took it personally and decided to counterattack. We both know how that ended, don't we? Right. You can't say anything. I'll just continue then. Now, I know you humans run your mouths and spread rumors about us. That we're stupid, warlike, hateful beasts. Well, two out of those three are true. But at the end of the day... We're stronger than you. What is layer upon layer of chainmail if we can just knock you over anyways? That's right. Nothing. <sighs> All that so-called intelligence gone to waste, but war wipes out the weak, doesn't it? Or don't you humans see it that way? Maybe that's why you lose? Which brings me to my point. It wasn't your fault. I watched you slay and outsmart a number of my kind. Stupid, mindless brutes, taken down by a tiny human. Pitiful. I should feel sorry for them, but I'm not. I'm happy you took them out. With every war, we weed out the weak. With every generation, we're stronger than before. I know you humans probably don't see it that way, but having lost, you have no right to speak. You're here because you caught my eye. Tell me, are you married? It was a serious question. Not if you are. Hmm, good. That makes this easier. I won't have to take care of her. Tell me, human, have you ever seen what a half-orc looks like? They're an agile and fast version of us, often slightly smarter. Our last chieftain was one, but he got challenged for the title of chieftain and lost. His life was not spared. A shame, really. Hmm... Seems our food is ready. I'd ask you to eat, but it seems you don't have any choice, do you? Ha! <laughs> eat. Stop pretending like you have a choice. Is it poisoned, sir, with all due respect? Open wide. Good. More eating, less speaking. I'll do the speaking first, before you get to say a word. Now, I'm a quarter human. That's right. As you can see, my skin is less green than my kinsman, and my speech is less 
Well, stiff. My parents got shunned for being half-breeds, but it's not their fault. If our leaders were less simple-minded, we would have forts and castles, like you do. Cities, not just a village here and there. If we so much as started with boats or trade, our race would see a golden age like never before. Small-mindedness stands between us and glory, no matter how many wars we win. We're built around war. Our bodies, our minds, our cultures. It's all we know. You will help me reach that goal. That's why you are here. Hmm. Don't freak out now. There's much to do to even get started. To begin with, we must challenge the chieftain. In order to do that, you will tell me the secrets of your axe-wielding. I'd rather use a sword, but it would be treated as blasphemy, and when you're done, you will train others. This is your new life now. Thirdly, and this is if you want us not to raid more neighboring villages, you will be my mate. What's so funny? A man your age, not even being married, is a disgrace. See this as a way to redeem your honor. And there's something in it for you. Our half-orc, or rather, three-quarter humans, shall set up a trading post and a new settlement by the crossroads. This will start an era of peace and greatness for us. That... Or we burn every village within fifty miles to the ground, and take it for ourselves. Speechless, huh? Just imagine it. A ruling class of mixed breeds. The perfect revenge for how they treated my parents. The start of a new race. A new kingdom. You get to be part of it. Instrumental, in fact. To its execution and it'll mean peace for you. Fighting this plan of mine is going to turn out poorly for your people. You may not like it, but this is how you can save them. This is the right thing to do. Next, we need to establish that you're committed to my plan. You will start by telling me you love me. Have I joked this far? I could still make this painful for you, having been this good to you for this long. I'm not stupid. Say it like you mean it. Good. Mm -hmm. Now sleep. You have some resting to do. We need to get you healthy again. I promise to feed you, pamper you, comfort you when you feel bad and tend to your wounds. I ask only one thing in return. Your unwavering loyalty. If you fail to display that, it won't end well. But I have faith in you. Sleep now. Here, I'll even untie your ropes and give you this nice rug to sleep with. Now, don't do anything stupid. I'm sure you will come to accept your new life soon enough. I could have just killed you out there, but I didn't. Having been spared by me, your life belongs to me now. Think it over, get some sleep, maybe your dreams will lend you some wisdom. Sleep well, my crown prince. Soon the tribe shall be ours. <sighs> The chieftain has been defeated. Any challengers must show themselves immediately or bow to their new chief. Oh? <laughs> Did you really expect to get somewhere with that attack? Silly. Stop? I guess you submit then? Bow to me. Good. By victory in honorable combat, I, Nura, am your new chieftain. Yeah! And as my right hand, I choose 
this human? Ahem, is there a problem? Anyone with an issue, you are free to go. As for the rest of you, your first order will be to hunt down those who just left. I will tolerate no dissent under my rule. Ah, good. Listen, there will be many changes under my rule. The last chieftain murdered both of my parents and the chieftain before him after winning honorably. I am against such an unnecessary murder, but this was payback. I may seem more merciless than your previous chieftain at first, but my plans are different. Humans and other races are surpassing us in magic and technology, and it's only a matter of time until our race will be nothing but history. You have had the unlikely fortune of inheriting a chieftain with foresight and wisdom, something both our young and elderly have been lacking for a long while. Under me, people will thrive who are intelligent, industrious, inventive, and ambitious. I have chosen five orcs like that to be my guards. And more controversially, my right-hand man, this human, will be their martial instructor. I know what you're thinking, but this warrior took out multiple of us with ease, and simply killing him would be the sort of stupidity that kept us in the past. He shall live with us and be treated according to his rank. You don't have to like him, but you have to respect his position. If you try to lay a hand on him, you and your family will be free to go. As a closing statement, the human will be in my custody and serve as my mate. My parents were half orcs and were killed because of it. There is room for people like that in our new tribe. Maybe by the end of my reign, we'll be a kingdom. If you have a problem with us, you are free to go. Look forward to the days ahead. They are brighter than whatever you've seen before. Ah, oh, there you are. Hmm. Hmm. Stubborn. Still resisting my kisses. You are fortunate. Stop moping. Hmm? Care to say that again? I spared your life. So show some gratitude. I gave you two of the highest ranks. Three, actually. That you could possibly get here. You have no excuse for that face you're giving me. <sighs> uh, I forget how complicated human men were. It's your best and worst traits. Just know that you either go down in history as a legend, or as a mopey, sad slave, which is what you're acting like right now. In time, if you know what's best for you, you will come to love your fate and appreciate the luck you're so fortunate to be drowning in. And now, care to try again? Hmm. I could use a bit more passion from you, but at least you're not resisting. Know that I care for you, regardless of how insufferable you're being. Tonight, we will sleep in the same bed, and no, you can't convince me otherwise. Yeah, if you have to be tied to this bed, then so be it. Nothing interesting will happen in this bed tonight. I'm just getting you used to it. I can give you some time. Now, I will undo the restraints. Don't try anything. I still have guards outside. Are you trying to struggle again? Even I know you're not that stupid. Lie back down. All right, I'll spoon you and wrap my arms around you, and that's how we'll sleep. Sleep tight, human. Mm. 
The sooner you accept all of this, the sooner you can be happy. Try again tomorrow?